Hello friends writing research article is nowadays very important if you want to prove something for the entire world or if you want to have a value in the world you need to publish some research articles it creates your own brand it creates your own identity in the world and therefore we need to publish some research articles in reputed journals in this video we are going to see 10 steps for writing a research article so please watch this video till the end and try to understand 10 steps for writing a research article let's start our journey to understand how to write a research article friends we are going to learn how to write a research article in this video writing a research article is one of the prestigious thing it gives your own identity you can contribute your knowledge to the society you can contribute your knowledge to the world and in return world will recognize you because of writing research for articles you can improve your resume you can improve your biodata and you can make it strong to make this process simplified i am going to share 10 steps for writing a research paper let us try to understand these steps in short so that you can start your writing your own research articles the first step itself is you need to select your subject or select the area of your research <clears throat> you can select any area it may be of your own choice in which you are having more knowledge in which you are having more interest or in which you have already done something you are having some experience in that area you can select that subject every subject has a scope to have some research inside it research doesn't mean you have to create something big something you have to invent something new you can go for creating your own model you can go for creating your own a formula you can go for proving a particular objective or even you can just go for a research review the second step once you finalize your subject or your area the next step is a review of literature in this case what we have to do is we have to find out other research articles available in the same area in the same subject we can use different open source journals different open access journals and we can find out different research articles those are published in a particular subject for example if your subject area is a cloud computing then you can just google research articles on cloud computing now cloud computing is a big subject lot of sub topics are there inside cloud computing you can select sub topic as well for example if you have already decided you are going to talk about cloud applications then you can search for research papers on cloud application and you will get thousands of research paper those are available on internet you just go through them and select few papers those are matching with your own idea matching with your own concept or in which you feel that you can contribute something so select few papers by the number you can have 15 to 20 papers download those papers and learn the concepts given in those paper just go through them and you have to point out what is given by which author so let us take paper number 1 see the title and what is given in that paper by that author every paper has one or more authors while selecting such papers take care that you are taking those papers from reputed journals they are having issn number or if you are taking from books they are having isbn number and just go through those papers and prepare a table what is a given in a uh, title what is given in an entire paper and what is concluded through this paper and after watching this research review you can find out what is a research gap or we can find out what is a topic or title on which we can publish a paper 
on which we can have a small research. Someone may publish this research review itself as a paper. So you can give the title review of literature on cloud computing and you can also mention the area or you can also mention the period. So research review on cloud computing during year one to year five, something like that. So you can specify the period and you can publish this research review as your own research paper. That is also a contribution to the world. That means what this review will be available ready-made for someone else. So that can be also a research paper. Otherwise, by watching this 15 to 20 different papers, you can get an idea and according to that idea, you can have your own title. So that is the third step. Finalize your own title. For example, I'm giving example for all steps so that you can get the clear idea of what kind of paper we can write. Now here I am giving idea by considering you are from computer or a management student. But the research methodology will be different for different areas, different titles. A simplest research methodology I am trying to share with this. So we can finalize the title for cloud computing is like this. Cloud applications for higher education. That will be the title for your research paper. You can make it more attractive, a study of cloud applications for higher education or study of different applications for higher education with special reference to cloud-based applications. So you can make a title like this. Once you finalize the title, you will get some ideas that will pop up in your mind how to write a research article because already we have studied 15 to 20 different research articles and that's why now your mind in a, is in position that can think how to arrange your own research article and most important step is finalizing title. So take time to finalize the title. Once you finalize the title, you introduce your subject. So you can write something about cloud computing. Then in a cloud computing, you can write one more paragraph on cloud application. And then you can also write one more paragraph for higher education. So in title, you are mentioning cloud computing, cloud application and higher education. So you are introducing these three things in your introduction. So it is giving an overall idea about your subject. And then the most important part begins is to write the objectives. So we have to define one or more objectives. For the beginning, I am recommending always go with one objective. Just set one objective and then try to prove this objective throughout your research paper. For example, we can write objective like this. Cloud applications are widely used during COVID pandemic time in higher education. Or you can say cloud applications are most useful for higher education during COVID pandemic. Something like that. So you can set this objective. You can give a different angle to it. Instead of talking about technical, you can say cloud awareness about cloud ap applications is increased during COVID time. So this will be your objective. Now throughout the paper, you have to try to prove your objective. Now, if you are not able to prove this objective, that is also in research. So whatever statement you are making, that will be either true or false. In any case, your research is successful. Now you can talk uh, like this in uh, research language, we can call hypothesis. So hypothesis is a statement that you are going to prove with the help of your research. So objectives, instead of talking, uh, uh, instead of using the word hypothesis, I'm using objectives because hypotheses are used for thesis. For writing a research article, it will be better to use objective. So just give one objective and then accordingly go for remaining steps. Once your objectives are clear, you have to try to collect data for your title, data for your subject. For example, now if your title objective is like this, awareness of cloud computing is increased during COVID pandemic, then you have to collect the data from some users. 
now there are a lot of concepts how many users you are going to communicate how much sample how much data you are going to collect so size of sample sampling methodology lot of things are there but for the beginning you can randomly select 100 different people persons from where you can collect a data now to collect this data you can prepare a questionnaire so you can start from the small questions do you know the cloud computing cloud applications yes or no and then you can put series of questions are you using cloud applications are you a student in higher education yes or no and again you can write typical questions have you used cloud applications in higher education okay and then you can directly ask do you think that cloud applications are most widely used during covid pandemic time again answer is yes or no in this way you can prepare questions now there are different ways of prepare questionnaire you can right now we are using yes or no options but you can have options like this you can create five different options okay so different scales we can prepare or we can use while creating questionnaire now i am going to give you details in a different video about preparing question questionnaire or preparing the style of questions and answers so it's a separate part to study for the time being for the beginners you can use yes no type of questions now this questionnaire you can use to collect the data okay now if you are collecting sufficient amount of data from different users you have to analyze it now you can put a chart you can use excel for this and question one the question and then answers from different and then you can directly use a summary yes from how many people and no from how many people so for each question you will prepare a table how many people are saying yes or how many users are saying no and this is for all different questions this is called as data analysis okay this is summary of data and then we have to use a proper statistical method for proving your objective now that is the main part of data analysis in our case we can use some methods in statistic for example we can use chi square test where we can consider yes no type of questions to prove our objective objective is like this awareness of cloud cloud applications is increased in higher education during covid pandemic now you can select two questions from the questionnaire do you know the cloud applications yes and no and then last question in which we have directly asked do you think the cloud applications are used in more amount during covid pandemic again answer is yes and no and by using these two questions we can use chi square test now what is chi square test you can study it from statistics and then by using the formula of chi square test we can come to the conclusion where whether our objective is proved or disproved and then we can put it in conclusion now conclusion you have to talk about your objective whether your objective is satisfied or not or whatever statement you are making as a hypothesis is to be accepted or to be rejected so that will be the part in a conclusion and you can also add some more things the scope or limitation of study now scope you can mention that you have collected data from maharashtra only or you have collected data by using internet from your contact list only so you can put the scope and limitations so the other researchers it will be helpful they can conduct the same research in different area same research with additional inputs or same research with some additional resources so you can add limitations scope and future scope of the this research now these are optional part important parts while writing research article is introduction objective data collection data analysis and conclusion these are compulsory parts 
After this, one more thing that we have to add in the beginning of research paper that is abstract. Now, what is abstract? Abstract is the summary of entire research article. Whatever you are write, written in an entire research paper has to be summarized in minimum number of words in abstract. So, your paper will begin with abstract and introduction, objectives, data collection, data analysis, and finally conclusion. Next part, the step number nine is we have to put references at the end of research paper. You are collecting information from different research papers. Already in step number two, we have reviewed a lot of different research papers. We have to mention all those research papers as a references because you are taking this idea from different research articles. So whatever references you have followed while finalizing the title, while creating your own objectives or even while collecting data. You can take some data from secondary source also. Suppose you have one paper in which this particular data is already available. You can directly pick up that data. But don't forget to mention this paper in a references. So references is a collection of all research papers, those you have studied to create your own research paper. And the final step is to publish your research paper in established and reputed journal. Lot of different criterias are used to select a journal. The journal should be in your research subject. Journal should be reputed. Now how it is reputed, again there are different uh, criterias. But at least the journal must be peer reviewed and journal must have valid ISSN number. If your research publication or journal has impact factor or if it is listed in Scopus, Web of Science or UGC care listed, it is highly recommended. I think this information is very, very useful for writing your research article, especially for beginners, those who are writing a research paper and first time they are trying to write a research paper. For them, these 10 steps are more important. So if you got any value from the research, from this video, please share this video and subscribe the channel and put the comment below the video so that I will prepare more videos on this. Thank you. Thank you very much.